Oh, maybe something is wrong with the light. What, does my face look weird? No, nah, you look pretty. Oh, you're retarded. <laughs> You guys gonna do an intro or what? Oh, are we gonna intro? Oh. Nah, I'm just kidding. New channel, this. <laughs> new, new channel, who this? Um, new channel, who this? Okay, so we're back. Uh, Tony and Hayden are working on the car right now. We're doing front end stuff today uh, because we're actually we don't have the rear end, so all we really can do is start mocking up some stuff in the front end. And one of the main things that we did today is we swapped side to side the knuckles. So if you're used to seeing Hondas, this actually looks really strange because the brake caliper uh, is on the back instead of the front. No, I know, it's fine. You get the idea. The, the problem that we were going to have is that when we put this motor in here, uh, where the steering rack used to be, which is right here, um, that obviously can't happen because that's where the transmission and everything is going to have to go back. So we were thinking we were going to put the steering rack uh, in front of the sump. So we're probably going to end up like right around here with the steering rack. But the problem was the place where usually these are on the back side. And so we're gonna have the, the rack up here, but the attachment for the knuckle is gonna be back here. So we're like, well shit. Instead of having to like weld on a, a new piece up front, welding uh, to cast, we figured, can we just swap them around so that these are on the front? And that's what we did. And it looks like everything ends up working still. Everything's centered on the wheel bearing. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, we put the wheel on and everything looks good. So. I think that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna have a steering rack that's gonna go uh, somewhere around this area and it's gonna attach to both of those original points. We may have to drop it down a little bit, but it still will attach to the original points. And so we'll be, we'll feel pretty safe about that. It'll be a lot safer than yeah. trying to weld anything to it or make anything like a bolt off the caliper brackets or anything yeah. else. So. It just, it, it seems more proper and I mean, it's just, it's amazing that those things switch back and forth. Yeah. We just might have to do like some, the worst thing will be the steering shaft, but I'm right. gonna do some custom paddles. We knew we were gonna have to do that for some custom stuff either way, yeah. so. That's not a huge deal, so. Right where the steering shaft normally comes out. Um, but we're probably not gonna be able to stay there anymore. Either the motor mount's gonna be in the way or the motor itself might be in the way. And actually, when you look at it, the steering shaft, the main shaft, comes straight down here, and then it actually makes a turn to the side to come out, uh, to come out right there. So we may actually continue it straight and come out more like right here, and that will get us out of the way of all the shit that we want to miss. Huh. <laughs> the dogs are freaking out too. I know. I don't know. It's yeah. So light. It's literally. It's so light. Nothing. Yeah, it's teetering a bit on the yeah. deck stands. I mean, you're pretty strong, so you know you work out. No, I don't. I know. I work out. <laughs> <laughs> so Tony's doing this side. They're gonna take all of this off now. Now that we know that that will work, that's our game plan. But we need to get rid of this well, middle part of the cave member. Yeah, and so we're gonna before we take them out, we'll probably we'll mark. More than likely, like we'll chop all these useless mounts off too, or use the um, spot weld drill on them and just take them out. And then we'll chop like straight up on both sides. So that way I'll probably take like some wood. We'll probably do some shaping too. <laughs> <laughs> so they're gonna get to taking that out and start hacking away at it. I'm gonna go get, oh my God, that light is bright. Put your shades on. Yeah, let me get that going. Holy oh, shit. Dude, call you the new Casey Nice that was weird. Who's, who's that? It's a vlogger. I'm so out of it. I'm out of it. Okay, so I'm gonna go get the wheels and turn this light down and yeah, we'll show you what we get when we get back. <laughs> save all the grinding this cutting this we use and be like how many cutting this does it take to make a real drive stick <laughs> it's gonna be a lot <laughs> also while I was gone they went ahead and uh, hacked away at the K member and so we got that I don't know if you can see that shit in there oh sorry um, so they got it out in the middle we're still kind of worried about 
the, some clearances. I think it's gonna work for us, but it really is gonna come down to what level the motor is gonna be at, which we haven't decided, we haven't figured out yet. We can only really take away a little bit more of this K-member, and don't worry, we're gonna like box this all in, um, so it's gonna keep its structure. We can only take away a little bit more of each side until we get to the bolt that actually holds it in. And so, um, I, I, I mean, I don't know. If the tranny has to sit down far enough, uh, if the tranny has to sit low enough, it's gonna run into those. So we're hoping that actually the motor is going to need to sit high enough to where we don't have to worry about that. But we'll see, we'll show all, you that all in a second. Right now, Hayden's putting the welder together. The MIG welder, his brand, brand new welder. New. Yeah, I don't think you've ever used that, huh? Nope, just straight out of the box. This is all brand new. Um, so we're gonna take, oh, hold on, let me go on this other side. We're gonna take a piece of pipe, just some scrap metal that we have. And we're gonna weld it across these two. We're gonna weld it from here to here. Al, you photobomb like crazy. <laughs> uh, just so that we can put the jack stands further back so that we can get enough weight over the front of the car. Because right now, I mean, the, the, the chassis doesn't weigh shit. And where we have the jack stands right now, uh, it doesn't even allow enough weight on the front of the car to like use the suspension to lower it down when it's uh, sitting on the ground to where we think we're gonna set the ride height at. So we're doing that real quick to try to remedy that situation because we really wanna be able to put the car down and get it at the ride height that we want it to be at so that we can check and see uh, where the motor and tranny are gonna sit and how much we need to cut out for the tranny well. So that's what we're doing right now. Aiden's getting the, the big old bottle. And they're gonna weld that in while I start cutting out the tranny well. All right, so we had to get a couple things out of the way before we start cutting. The whole ECU setup is on a nice plate in here. Um, we're gonna be throwing a bunch of sparks around and everything, so we wanted to go ahead and cover it up, but we actually just moved it out of the way because I think we might have to cut far enough over uh, here for the tranny that that was going to be in the way, so we might have to rearrange some of this stuff. We're not gonna be using an AM Infinity, we're gonna sell that to a friend of ours. Um, so only some of this, very little of this wiring we're gonna actually use. Uh, so we should be able to rearrange that plate, make it smaller, uh, move everything a little bit further over so that we don't interfere with what is going to be the new training wheel. It basically stands on there by itself. Yeah, I know, but what I mean is if I go up, then it's gonna hit the metal and I can't go back. So either we need to take out more, if that's the height that you want beyond the point of return. All right, so we got the giant hole cut out. We had to cut a decent amount on both sides of those, uh, the pieces of K member that we're keeping in there. So all of that's gonna be, <laughs> I, was, I was checking it out. All of that stuff is gonna be boxed in um, so we can regain that structure. Same thing with some of these areas. Uh, anything that has an exposed area, we're gonna, have to do some welding to box that back in so that we can have the structure again. And the other thing that we did is we put this bar in the back. I think we mentioned it earlier. Uh, put that bar back there so that we could actually have the weight of the car a little bit further back. So we have it jacked up there so we can actually put it at right height. And that's just tacked in. That's obviously, that's gonna go away. That way we could put the wheels in there 
and put everything at ride height. So that that's gonna be our ride height, but that gap is gonna be taken away. We're probably gonna, that's a 24 inch tire. We're probably gonna put a 25 inch tire in there, which is obviously gonna take away half an inch of that wheel gap, but then it's also gonna raise the car up by half an inch because of the tire. So then we're gonna lower the body down half an inch. So there will be no more wheel gap, but the car will be at the exact same height. The body will be. Um, so then that makes all of our measurements as far as the height of the pan and the height of the, or the transmission pan and the height of the oil pan to the ground exactly the same. So we'll fill that gap without changing any of those things. So what we're gonna do right now is take the motor, bolt it up to the transmission, and put it in to see what it kind of looks like as far as clearances with the new giant hole. And uh, if we need to move anything else out or just adjust a little bit, I mean, that's really as far as we want to go. We did a lot of cutting and we have a lot of boxing in to do. Or Hayden does, because I can't weld to save my life. Uh, so hopefully you don't have to cut anymore. Hopefully it's just a matter of getting an idea of what the height is gonna be like, because one thing that we're noticing is the height in the back is good. Will be plenty, uh, there'll be plenty of clearance for the intake manifold at this line. But then when we come over here to the front, since this motor is gonna come straight off that line, we think that we're gonna have a little bit of a problem up front. So we wanna see how bad that is. Worst case scenario, we'll have to put a little bit of a cowl on the hood to give it a little bit of clearance, or we may just cut it out, um, you know, for what little bit of the, you know, maybe throttle body ends up sticking out. So we'll see. We're gonna bolt. We're gonna bolt this together and show you what it looks like. I just, I just was poking him in the back of the head with the fucking tripod. You didn't even say anything about it. Who? You. I can't see it. You didn't feel that poking you in the back of the head? Yeah, I felt it, but I was too busy trying to get the shot. And you enjoyed it. <laughs> he's gonna say the one in the comment. I know, he's. <laughs> I'm the comment number one. Oh, you, like a certain, you get it like almost all right here where you can't see the jack. Or the stand, Jack. Or the Jack stand. Uh, okay, so uh, I think. Shit, what did we do last time? I think we just shoved the motor in. That's all we did. Yeah. So we oh. Cut the hole all yeah. So we cut the hole completely out. We had to clearance it a couple of times. Just we were stabbing the tranny in there to make sure that it was going to fit. Uh, but then we wanted to look at it to see what it could possibly look like. So we put the motor on the tranny and slid it on in there. Uh, okay, so the height of that, obviously, you can kind of see how kind of ridiculous it's going to be. We're going to have to take the whole top layer out of that tunnel and, you know, maybe spread it a little bit for the drive shaft to come through and then build on top of that, uh, the tunnel. We'll spread it like a little. We'll spread it. It's your car. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yep. There it is. So, I mean, that's not gonna be the exact place. I mean, we'll make sure that it's perfectly straight back, but just gives us an idea of clearance. And I think we got, we got a couple more things to cut. But for the most part, I mean, it, it's, we're at where we need to be with it. So, what are you measuring? I think you're cool. Outside. But are you sedan hatchback cool? Da dang. You look good. It is nice. 
Yeah, it needs to just go that way just a little bit. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Dude, okay. So I know, it was just a mock-up, but looks good. Stuck the turbo in there, just for a bit of clickbait and some satisfaction. Still got a shit ton of work to do. Motor's gonna come forward a little bit too, right? Is it so close to firewall? No, not really. I mean, we want it pretty close in there. Now you want to just like... More or less. I mean, it could come out like a fraction of an inch, but we want it to be real close. Because what we're not gonna have anything to do out there, or back there. It's fine, I guess. Yeah. Except for putting the ground on the back of the head. Yeah, that was a, no, on the back of the head. Right I have mine on my on this bolt of the intake manifold. Yeah. Oh, they want them on the front. Yeah, they want them on the back of the factory. Oh man, I better change mine because that totally doesn't work. Yeah, they clearly your car is slow as fuck and doesn't work. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. But no, you can still put it on the back ones. No, if you can probably fix the right? that ticket go away. <laughs> That's probably what that is. It's like it's like an art. <laughs> it's just constantly. It's just arcing in the back of the head. That's that noise you're doing. That's why we can only make 700 or so. Could actually be making 1500. Yeah, it would be 3,000 wheel force. And probably only use it in one bank. Yeah, probably so. I did that once. It sounded so bad. Yeah. Sorry. Basically, some good progress. Kind of. Even though it all has to come back out. <laughs> Before we actually do anything. No, I don't know. It's kind of big in there, huh? It's so uh, what? I know. That's what I want. The place where all the most room is going to be on that side. So the more room is going to be on that side. Wait, why is it going to be more room on that side? Because you cut that in there for shit. And this motor is going to come this way, an inch or half an inch. Yeah. Well, nothing, nothing goes over here, but like this has the heater core lines and stuff on it. And like the waterfall housing is further out this way. So we put the turbo over here. There's a little bit more room, room, I guess. Well, it's just like, like that, it's gonna... I mean, it's well, that side, it's gonna be cut out of the hood. It's not gonna fit in the hood right there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I mean, I guess we could switch it like this. Or, or, actually, the, stick it out the fucking hood. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I say no fucking hood. But no, 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 we got better. Why? Because I, I miss my hood. I wish we had a hood on mine. I want a hood. I don't want a hood. What's wrong with you? I don't know. I want a hood. She wants a hood. Yeah. Or, we can put it in the back. Why are you taking the hood off? Turn my back? Yeah. Wouldn't you? Let's wait. I'm sure we can put it right there. Later tonight, we'll have another live stream, so come hang out and uh, we'll do some more shit. Click the subscribe button.